So today we will read from Shishi Vilapa Kusumanjali by Raghunadas Goswami with commentaries of Anantadas Babaji. And it will be the verse 26. <clears throat> O Devi, Goddess, can I, with steady hand, make red fragrant spots all around your tilak that is the best a chanting herb for Krishna? O Devi, O Goddess, can I, with steady hand, make red fragrant spots all around your tilak that is the best a chanting herb for Krishna? Commentaries by Anathadas Babaji. In his Swarupavesh, Sri Raghunatha has placed the Sindura strip on Srimati's part. And now he sees himself making red spots all around her tilak. The deity of his vision appears before him. The only way to attain Raga Bhakti is a deep, sacred greed. And Sri Raghunatha's heart is filled with that intense yearning. The more the Raga Bhakta becomes filled with this great, anxious, devotional yearning, the more he forgets about his body and his home, and the sooner the time of his attainment of his beloved deity comes near. Sri Raghunatha's Das Goswami's intense yearning for his Ishwari's darshan after she vanishes from him is a good subject of meditation for the neophyte devotees. The deity of Raghunatha's meditation is playing inside and outside of him. So this is one of the prayers like flowers of Sri Raghunatha's Goswami in this beautiful, sweet Vilapa Kusumanjali. And in these words, we can feel through listening through our earrings how he is so close to Shimataradra, how his feelings towards Srimati Radharani are very, very intimate. We can feel through his sublime words, his eagerness to attain direct vision and direct service to Sri Radhika. And also we can feel from his words his unlimitless humility. 
and above all these feelings which he is presenting, just in these simple words, very simple words, we can feel also his tears. His tears are watering his desire, his loba, and his offering. He doesn't have anything else to offer to Radharani but his heart. And the tears are expression of his deep feeling in his heart. He doesn't have anything else, and he doesn't want anything else, but direct service to Shimati Radhika. And in his Sadakavesh, he is offering words, and also he is offering all his feelings, like we said before, eagerness, passion, eagerness. It's not normal eagerness, but very passionate, one-pointed eagerness. And also, this is the case of Premika Bhaktas, that hand by hand, with their eagerness, humility also goes. When materialistic person is eager for something to attain, usually he is not so humble because he is under the Rajagun, under the passion, materialistic mode. And there is no place for humility in this passion, this kind of materialistic worldly passion. But the heart of Premika devotee, and especially the heart of Radhika's maidservants, are so pure that even when they are burning from desire, when they are burning from eagerness, automatically their natural humility appears. So here is a very intimate situation when Raghunath is decorating Radhika's face. He is direct decorating her eyes with eyeliners, with her lips, eyebrows, Sindura, so many sevas he is doing just on Radhika's beautiful, brilliant, shining face. And this verse is so specific because so many things behind each word is hidden. And Raghunath is praying to Radhika, please, I want with steady hand to put reddish spots, fragrant spots, all around your tilak. So it requires steady hand. Who can have a steady hand for doing something? person who is in deep love and he is completely one-pointed to, to give complete satisfaction, perfect, and by doing perfect seva to his beloved Ishtade. This person has ability 
to have a steady hand. Because his eyes, his mind, spiritual senses, heart, everything is focused on that simple but very important seva. So Raghunath here is giving us neophytes, aspirants, sadakas, opportunity to meditate on his seva to Shimati Radhara. So I think that everyone will agree that now we have perfect chance and also time because we took a time now from 12 o'clock we, we took a time one hour one and a half two hours actually for practical bhajan by listening these words of Raghunath by listening explanations of Ananda Das Babaji it's much more easier to practice bhajan because we have a support. And by knowing that our beloved Gurudev is there and our beloved God brothers and sisters are there, we're practicing bhajan without so much endeavor. When we are alone in the home, in the room, and we are trying to do this back, practice of meditation, it's very easy to have many obstacles in the mind all around us and so on. It's very easy to be focused. But now, through our ears and relishing these words of Raghunath and Baba through our ears, we have ability, uh, possibility, sorry, my English is very broken. My, possibility to very naturally focus our mind and heart in this meditation, how Raghunath is perfectly doing his seva, intimate seva to Srimati Radhika. And to confirm this statement, Baba is saying very, he's giving us actually very simple instruction that this is a good subject of meditation for neophyte devotees. It's very good subject. Or we can say it. Be, for whom is a very good subject? For those who has completely fixed object, who have a fixed their goal on Shri Materadara. If we are not so fixed that we want Shri Materadarani, that we want to become Radha's maid servants, maybe it's not so good subject which can bring our consciousness on a proper tune. But if we really assign, like Gurudev is saying, and said, yes, I want that goal, and this is the goal of my life, then this kind of devotee who is Ekanta will use this opportunity or every opportunity especially when we are talking now, this opportunity to fix his goal on this beautiful, simple scene. Radhika is sitting. Tula Simanjari is very close to her, face to face, holding Radharani's chin with his with her left hand, you know, how much closeness and intimacy is there. 
and very with steady, not trembling hand, like Krishna is doing. No, very steady hand is putting this <laughs> spots, reddish spots. It's not in any other color, but specifically reddish. And one of the reasons why this color is so reddish is because Tulsi Manjari, by putting these spots, wants to express how Radharani's passion, Anurag, for Mohan, to give him a pleasure, is burning in her heart. So these reddish spots around her tilak is very important seva. And this is paraphernalia for worshipping. Paraphernalia is not only incense, ghee lamp, fan. No, paraphernalia is everything what helps Radharani to attract Krishna more. Ornaments, eyeliners, lipsticks. This is paraphernalia for worshipping Mahabhava Takurani. And when devotees are meditated on that, like Gurudev is saying, they can meditate even with the open eyes. They don't have to close their eyes. Meditation is in the heart, in the mind, not in the eyes. And when devotee has a deep meditation, he can meditate even with the open eyes. And he can see himself very close to Guru Manjari, how together they are observing this beautiful scene in which Tulsi Manjari is decorating Radhika with the reddish spots on her forehead. And this is the process of learning and practicing Raga Bhakti in the simplest way. I try to explain. Maybe someone can add and make much more clear. It would be very nice to hear the Guru Dev. Or someone else. <laughs> the deity of Raghunata's meditation is playing inside and outside of him. Can we hear some sharing about it? Um, may I? Yeah, uh, I appreciate uh, that he has said that the deity is playing. It it's uh, such a lovely mood to be in play. You are relaxed when you are playing, and you don't know what will come out because it's it's a play. It's it's fresh. It's um, it takes us in, and we we are um, we love to do it. Because it's a play, so it's uh, really a happy maker, you know. <laughs> and it's inside in his heart. And Raghunat obviously is aware of this playing all around him too. Not only with his eyes, but with his ears, with his smelling, with his um, um, heart perception. There's a play. It is playing. <laughs> <laughs> Not in our reverence, <laughs> bowing down. 
Yeah, this is very important what Sudevi said. Not with awe and reverence. And in the beginning, first words, in the words which Raghunath is using and is addressing Radharani, and he said, Oh Devi, goddess. But it's not Aishwarya mood. It's not the mood of awe and reverence, fearfulness. No, this is intimacy. You are goddess, you are worshipful, love of my heart. When you love someone, I don't know in different languages how it sounds, but in Croatian language, when you love someone, you can freely, very freely, you can say, I worship you. But in, this is English expression. But in Croatian language, there is, when I say, I worship you, my dear Gurudev, it means I adorn you, I love you so much. It's not that I formally worship you. So in that mood, Raghunath said, you are my Devi, but you are also Devi. Like Sudevi said, because you are very playful. You are playful with Krishna, and yes, you are playful with my heart. And I like this playfulness. So when we, Sadakas, are relishing through our ears this kind of playfulness of, of seek and hide between Radhika and Tulsi Manjari, we can relish their intimacy. Because Radhika sometimes, according to her desire, appears and disappears appears and disappears in front of her beloved devotee. And when Raghunath is crying and praying to Radharani, please, when did they come? When I can do this and that and this and that, Seva. In one moment, Radhika cannot resist, but she has to answer to her beloved maidservant. So this is something which nourishes the hearts of our, sadak our sadaka's hearts. And this is the greatest blessings and fortune this playfulness we have to recognize by our heart and to appreciate. Without it? Udavaji, yes, Udavaji, I you, just you saw, saw on my face my eagerness, yes. <laughs> Jai Shri Radhe, Jai Gurudev. Also very important <clears throat> what Sudevi is saying about play, because <clears throat> what she's describing is relationship. Relation cannot be <clears throat> an iron bar between two souls. It cannot be a prison in which two souls are <clears throat> contained. It's always moving in mood. It's always moving and coming and going, and like you say, hiding and seeking. And So I think that's very important to remember when we want to think of bhakti as a practice of relation, that we need to have play. We need to recognize that relation is play. Realize this. And it's also play <coughs> I think of this last line you read, wait a minute. The deity of Raghunatha's meditation is playing inside and outside him. This means, I think, uh, from the Sadakavesh to Siddhavesh, so the material uh, form to the spiritual form, 
So there's also a play there that we're flashing back and forth. Gurudev says ping pong. And we feel the tenderness and we feel the longing and we feel the missing and then we feel the desire. And all this is, uh, these are the qualities of relation. And these are not to be erased like they would in, uh, in an impersonal idea of spirituality. In bhakti, we embrace these things. We embrace the, the playfulness. That's where we find loving devotion. Radhe. Yes, this is the effect, the symptom of love, especially pure love. Because Raghunath, he sees Radhika inside him, like Udavaji said, but he is also is seeing her outside, everywhere. Everywhere reminds him on Shimata Radharani. Everything what's going on, even in this material world, reminds him on different qualities, different part of her body's body, sorry. Everything. And she and, and he, Raghunath, he sees his beloved deity in everyone's heart. Because he is completely infused with Radharani's love. So everyone who wants to approach to any kind of Supreme Personality of Godhead even, he needs a mercy of love. He needs mercy of Hladini Shakti. No one can approach any form of God without pure love. And the source of that love is Radhika. Hmm. And this means that as I as we as we advance in our spiritual path, we too begin to see Radhika everywhere. So I no longer see my Goranga dear friend, devotee, I see in his eyes the eyes of Radhika. This is easiest in Guru. It's easy to see Radha in Gurudev's eyes. We all know this. But we begin to see it everywhere. Because our eyes has to be filled with our beloved Ishtadev. When our heart and eyes are filled, then we can see in his presence or Ishtadev's presence, in everyone's heart, in everyone's eyes, talks, and so on. Behavior, also behavior is so important. You can see different devotees, they have different behaviors. But Radhika's devotees, they are so sensitive. They are so tender. They have specific behavior. Even in Sadakavish, they are very kind, never quarrel, <laughs> never envious. They always want to help, to serve, and to love. And they are not independent at all. They already offered their independency to the lotus feet of Shemata Radharani. And they are not interesting for any kind of independence in the name of love. And the funny thing is, and also sweet thing is, that Krishna, when he is with Radhika, he is offering all his independence. 
And he is saying, please teach me how to love. I want to dance according to your desire. Please model me. This is Krishna, to whom we want to worship and serve. So we can continue, if you allowed me, with love. Tulasi sits down before Swami. With love, Tulasi sits down before Swami. Holds her chin with her left hand and begins to make fragrant red spots around her tilak with full concentration. How deeply she concentrates can be seen on her eyes, her face and her hands. Practicing devotee should mentally sit next to her and to learn such expertise from her. We already said, when mentioned this instruction. This is important instruction for Bhajan. And Baba is giving almost in each commentary similar instructions maybe with different words but same instructions practicing devotee should mentally sadaka in his mind in his meditation sit next to her to perfect manjari and learn such expertise from her. This is Raga Bhakti. Why this is important at all? Because Sadhaka is opening his heart to receive the feelings of Tulsi Manjari. This is Raga. Nuga Sadhana Bhakti. To receive the feelings, not technique, not rituals, but feelings of perfect manjari. Vraja Loka Anu Sarata. Rupa Goswami is saying in his mind. I I I wouldn't feel qualified to sit in my meditation in front of Radharani. Um, yeah, I have to uh, say the uh, I didn't understand if what if I'm not qualified? Or what did yeah, you say? Uh -huh. I don't feel Qualified to say at the foot of yes, no room. one is qualified. Don't worry. Welcome to the club of unqualified devotees. <laughs> no one is qualified, and don't worry, you will never be qualified. So you can forget it. No one of us <laughs> will ever be for qualified, and this is great relief. And also, this is the playfulness of Radharan, <laughs> you know. Wow. Well. Because if we if we always trying and endeavor to be qualified, we will never develop pure love. Love is not something which has to be learned from the books, from the manuals. It's like it's not a pre, uh, it's not technique. Let's, love is something which first of all exists in the soul. 
first of all exists in the soul we have to accept it then this kind of love can be more increased by listening about your loving devotees and their activities of seva to radha and krishna so this yeah. is the reason why this shravanam is mentioned first second third because without shravana all other activities will be not successful but if we open our ears and we try to listen through heart not mind you know because if you want to become qualified then you are trying through the mind <laughs> and it will never happen but if you open your heart to the heart of pure perfect devotee then one mystical thing is going on his pure feelings his pure qualities slowly but surely starts to manifest in the heart of sadaka unqualified sadaka and this is the reason why oh guru dev beautiful this is the reason why ragunath why ragunath is saying that only qualification yeah, you see now we come to the qualification only qualification is just desire love Please, please, please. Yeah. please I don't understand what does it mean. Please. Please, may I say something? Yes, please. Desire and greed is the same word. Desire and greed is the same word. Yeah, I understand also... words. I understand words, but I don't understand the process. How it works. I feel also we are actually not sitting with our coverings because our coverings will never go out. So but we are sitting there in our in our swarup, in our soul consciousness. Then anyway we are pure. Coverings is will be never pure. So Goranga Sutra, I asked you we, we shared last time this beautiful uh, topic, this uh, mercy. You remember? about the mercy that <laughs> mercy is just causeless can i say it with mercy oh okay yes what and under you whoever wants there i i don't see you everyone please just just yeah. share whatever comes to you. But you remember, you remember what we talked? Yes? Kalindiji, I know your point, but I don't remember, you know, the details. Please remind me, you know. That, that mercy is not depending on, on our coverings or our personal... Uh, where we are, or it's coming anyway. It's, it's not bound to some material. <coughs> mercy doesn't mercy depends only from mercy kripa is coming from kripa nothing else yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Andaji, please say, say something <laughs> but you say yeah, yeah. You, you say you say you beautiful <laughs> Very beautiful. No, sorry, I'm tortu torturing everyone. No, no, please. I want to protect you from myself, brother. Uh, you, you, you want to say, no? Oh, that's amazing. But um, I can meditate with greed, with greed and desire and mercy. I can sit. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope. Oh, 
<laughs> no, King Cody G came. Huh? Did you think one No. So, Goranga Sundaraj explained so nicely mercy is no cause, and mercy comes from mercy. And uh, this Mani Didi explained. I feel no qualification to meditate or sit near with Radharani. But I feel by the mercy of Guru Manjari, Guru Dev, make us to sit near with Radharani and to meditate and to serve our Ishtadi. So, we are discussing a little bit with uh, uh, Jagatan Didi. Actually, we, are, we cannot be Sadhana Sita because we cannot do any Sadhana, honestly speaking. We are so fallen. And uh, only mercy of Sadhu Guru Vaishnava make us fit and near to be with the Swami. And uh, Guru, Guru Dev was a few days ago uh, told, him, then told us <coughs> how to go deep in meditation or how to go deep in, in understanding in this verse. And the Guru Dev was saying very interesting. You, you meditate with Guru Dev. I am serving this. With Guru Dev or with Trashi Mandari. Maybe we are better to think with Guru Dev, not alone. For example, say, sometimes so we are going to some big meeting with Guru Dev. I don't know anybody that big meeting. Guru Dev knows this big meeting, big personality. Then Guru Dev calling me, hey Jananda, come with me. I can show you all big personality. I can introduce you all big personality. Then I have no endeavor. Just following Guru Dev and just to, you know, sitting with Guru Dev and Guru Dev to, you know, everything introducing me. Like uh, Narutama Das Thakur saying, My Guru Manjari introduced to Rupa, Rupa Manjari. So I feel only mercy. <coughs> could do like this. Only by the mercy we, we can meditate. By the mercy we can do sadhana. By, mass, by the mercy we can sit near our Swami for something. So this is about mercy. Now I'm feeling so Goranga Sundara expressed so nicely. I was just you know hearing so you know in good meditation. Nade, nade. For this more clarification. Um, may, may I hold in uh, to contemplate about this scene that Tulsi is holding Sri Rada's chin. This is also uh, in mundane relationships a seldom gesture. To hold the chin of someone, it's more from an adult to a child. And Tulsi, this small girl, she is standing, Sri Radhika is sitting, and she is, as an adult, holding 
Schrie Radikas Chin. How sweet is this scene? And, and Radika accepts this, this saber. <laughs> yes, thank you, Sudeep. Because Radhika surrendered herself to maidservant. Otherwise, how if she if she doesn't want to surrender to her beloved maidservant, how maidservant can make perfect seva? It's not possible. In that moment, Radhika says, I am yours, completely yours, my dear King Kari. And Tulsa said, yes, you are mine. And because you are mine, I will do exactly what you need, what you required, because I know your heart. And I will take care about you. I will take care about your ornaments, about your sindura, dots on the forehead. I will take care about your dress, lotus feet, everything, everything. And finally, I will take a care to take, to bring you on the place where your lover is waiting you. So, I'm sorry, Rade, but you have to surrender to me. This is Una Tojval Rasa. Who can say this? From all different devotees, Raga devotees, Raga Atmika devotees. Only Manjaris can have such an intimate, like Sudevi said, such an intimate, sublime relationship with Radhika. And this is the greatest gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Without him, we would never ever listen, know about these lilas, about these feelings, relationships, and especially about this Manjari Bhav. And I will read now what's going on. The next. The Goswamis are the gurus of Yugala Seva. Goswamis are the gurus of Yugala Seva. And the greatest aspiration of Gaudiya Vaishnavas is to follow in their footsteps. To really be the Gaudiya Vaishnava, to really be Gaudiya Vaishnava, requires from the person to accept the mood, spiritual, inner mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, like Radharani, and also his relishing of Manjari Bhav, and then his desire to spread this Manjari Bhav to all unqualified jivas in Kali Yuga. This means Gaudiya Vaishnavas, who is following Rupa Ragunata in the Sadakavesh like Goswamis, but knowing that they are actually Rupa Manjari, Rati Manjari, Lavanga Manjari, Vilasa Manjari. Manjari, 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 Anjari, Manjari, up to my beloved Guru Manjari. This is real Gaudiya Vaishnavas. And here is few, two verses. How Gaudiya Vaishnavas are following the footsteps. It said, I will blissfully serve with Priya Sakis, not alone, with Priya Sakis, dressing 
There limps nicely. There means Yugalakisho. Nicely. Keep me at your lotus feet for this devotional service amidst your beloved girlfriends. I want to be in their Sangha. They are my Sangha. I want to be uh, surrounded by them. Then in other words is, I always stay with the Sakis as if I am their maidservant. Shadow of the shadow of Radharani. Playfully serving divine couple in different ways with fragrant sandalwood pulp jeweled ornaments and silken garments. All surrendered to the Sakis will take one point devotee along to the kingdom of love and bless him with the gift of their company. and association of Yugala Kishore. One more time. Full surrender to the Sakis will take one pointed devotee along to the kingdom of love and bless him with the gift of their company and association of Yugala Kishore. How can we approach Yugala Kishore without company of their beloved maidservants? So the Raga Nuga Sada Bhakti means that we should have a goal to serving Radharani and her beloved, but in the company, association, close, intimate association of those who are already her maidservants. Raja Loka Anu Sarata. And sometimes it's very difficult to follow anyone. We don't have faith enough. We don't believe. And even if we have this faith is a very weak come up. So when the faith is weak, It's very hard to follow someone. But if we really have a faith, automatically love will increase, hope will increase, and following will be more natural and spontaneous. Artificially, it's not possible. It's not possible to follow specially someone who is diving in the pure ocean of pure love without strong conviction and deep love and intimacy. And for that reason, we have to practice first with those devotees who have the same goal, but also we have to practice this kind of loving intimacy with our Guru. Otherwise, 
this following can be very, very artificial, superficial, and it's really not following. When Acharya is saying, please follow the footsteps, it means please follow the emotions which are coming from the heart of that person. And when you are situated yourself in their company, like Narottam Thakur is always saying in Prema Bhakti Chandrika, I want to be surrounded with you. I'm waiting their hints, hints of your sakis, to give me which kind of seva to do. Then, association of Yuga Lakishore starts to become more intense and more intense and more intense. Narutam Das Thakur sings, Vraja Pura Vanitara Charana Ashraya Sara Koromana Ekanta Koriya Ekanta, fix your mind on the girls of Vraja and take shelter of their lotus feet. Fix your mind. It means I'll, I'm living my bodily conception of life. I'm living my mentality of Purusha, Abhiman. And I'm accepting the mood of young Raja Sundari. Radharani's made so young girl who has her own superior Saki and who is doing his seva by waving the garland and then I bring that garland to my superior Saki Guru Manjari and she is putting around the necks of Yuga Lakishore. And in that way, I feel completely naturally situated in my position. And she's always saying, don't worry, I am taking care about you. My cottage is your cottage. Whatever you need, I will supply. I will protect. And be with me. So we can see here, we have to change identity. I'm not a man. I'm not controller. I'm not a woman. I'm not enjoyer. I'm not controller. I want to become just maid servants. Of the maid servant, of the maid servant of the maidservant. Like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu say, I'm not this Brahman, I'm not this Sanyas, I'm not Vanaprashta Brahmachari, so, 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 I'm Dasan, 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 Dasan. It means I am deeply situated in Manjari Bhav. And Arutam Das Thakur is confirming and say, fix your mind on the girls of Raja and then take shelter of their lotus feet, of their feelings, their heart, their way of Manjari thinking, their way of Manjari feeling, their way of Manjari serving, take a shelter. So 
So Baba is continuing if there is no one who can, who wants to say and add something. So our Gaudara Sagoranga Sundara explained very beautifully. And uh, you mentioned that following the footstep means following the mood. So when we are practicing by the bhakti, we following the footstep uh, means following the teaching. That's all right. But actually in Raga Bhakti means to follow footstep of previous Acharya means you said, I think correct, following the mood of our Acharya. No. And to associate Sadhu Sangha means to imbue in that Sadhu's mood. So, and Gurudev saying, to associate Gurudev means steal or imbue Gurudev's mood. That is following the footsteps. But Krishna is following the mood of Pradhika. <coughs> but no, no. Krishna is following the mood of Pradhika. So Krishna is following the mood of Radhika. Because Krishna is not God. Krishna is uh, Krishna like a puppet of Radhika. Subject. Subject, object, and subject changes. And Krishna is worshiping Radhika. Krishna is following Radhika. And <clears throat> I just now listening to you, Goranga Sundara, so beautiful explanation. I was just feeling we we many times say Sri Chaitanya Mano. <coughs> so and then I was start thinking, oh maybe Sri Chaitanya Mano means real Mano one of real Mano means because Chaitanya is teaching us Manjari's mood. So one of Mano is following the mood of Radhika, means not actually Manjari. So, and then Rupa Gosam is following this Manjari, actually his leader. And Raghunata Das was following Sri Chaitanya Manodhishtha. And also this is Rupa, following Rupa. And we are following Rupa Raghunata line. Means we are following his mood. We try to steal Raghunata Das Goswami's mood. We try to follow his mood. So this is Goranga Sundra explained very nicely and uh, I really appreciate it. <coughs> now Baba is giving another point. In Sadakavish, Devotees also anxiously pray at the Sakis lotus feet. In their Sadaka Rupa as the Goswamis. And he is giving example. Kaha Mora Swarup Rupa, Kaha Sanatana, Kaha Dasa Ragunata Patita Pavana. In Sadaka Vish, this is very important. Where are my Swarup Damodar? And where are my Rupa and Sanata? Where is Raguna Das Goswami, the savior of the fallen? This is the mood of Sadaka. He didn't say, Where is Lalita? Instead of Swarup Damodar, he didn't say Rupa Manjari, or Lavanga Manjari, or Tulsi Manjari. No, it's Sadaka wish. I want to be close with these personalities, greatest personalities. And how I can be close with them? 
only possibility is through their words which are written in their Jew-like books. And because their words are transcendental, they have a power to penetrate in my heart and melt it. So it requires that Sadaka loves this Gaudiya Vaishnava Acharyas. Like we love some poets, artists, musicians, we love them. It's not only that we love their art, but we love them also. Devotee is in love with Rupa, Raghunatha, Sanatana. And I will give you one example how this deep love is so intense. When Krishna Das Kaviraj heard that books of Goswamis were stolen, He couldn't tolerate it. He, to he couldn't tolerate that these jewels, real fortune, is stolen. And he simply left his body. He is showing how he was attached to Goswamis in their words. Sometimes people who has a lot of money and suddenly because of many reasons they lose all their money, they simply die because they are so attached they are so in love and they simply die. Or when they lose someone whom they love so much, in the similar way, devotees are attached to each other. Real Pramika devotees are attached to each other. And Krishna Das Kaviraj, he left the body because he just heard the books are stolen. He couldn't tolerate it. So it shows very clearly, like example, that this attachment for Acharyas, Goswamis, Gurus, our Rasik devotees, Rasik Gurus also, has to be very, very intense. And without attachment for this kind of devotees, which we have to feel deeply in the heart, attachment for Yugala Kishore will not appear. Because Yugala Kishore is always living in the hearts of their loving devotees. And where can we find Yuga Lakishore if we don't have loving attachment for their loving devotees? Then Kripa starts to flow in the waves. And devotee is able to receive so much kripa. Because he already prepared his heart to receive this kripa. It's not leaking through the holes. No.
When Sri Raghunatha says, O oh Devi, he means, O oh Lila Mai, which means, O oh playful girl. These red spots are a great medicinal, medicinal herb for Sri Krishna. Your Mohan will go crazy when he sees you dressed in this way. He will go crazy while playing with you. And that play will be unhindered. Yes, and that play will be unhindered. Many people in other words, other gopis in this case, use occult methods for enchantment. And therefore, we will give him this herb that will drive him crazy. It will remove all obstacles and nobody else will be able to attract him. Blessed is this maidservant who enchants Srimati in a such a way, immersing her into the ocean of bliss. So many people, even the gopis are using many occult, magic methods to put a spell on Krishna. But when Manjari, when Tulasi puts the red spots around on the forehead of Srimati Radharani, he becomes immediately crazy, mad and under her control. So this is the effect of beauty and sweetness of our Swami. Because through these red spots, all her passion is just bursting out. And Mohan cannot be peaceful. Shijiva Goswami explains the name Krishna as follows in his commentary on Brahma Samhita. He who is attracting everyone's hearts with his form and qualities and gives the greatest transcendental bliss is called Krishna. Another more conventional meaning of the name Krishna is Sri Devaki Nandana, the son of Devaki or the son of Yashoda. Because Devaki is another name for Mother Yashoda of Praja. Dvasudeva Upanishad declares his all blissful nature by saying, Devaki Nandana delights the world that delight is purely transcendental and exclusively perfect in Sri Krishna. In other words, it cannot be found in any other form of God. Only love can awaken waves of desire in this pure ocean 
of transcendental bliss. So Baba explained through the meaning of the name of Krishna, he explained his position, that he is attractive to everyone. But now he said, only love can awaken waves of desire on this pure ocean of transcendental bliss. But no one can attract Krishna without love. Sri Radhika is the personification of complete, condensed, prema rasa. She is the quintessence of love of God, called Mahabhava. And it is this Mahabhava which serves as an intoxicating herb for Krishna. Whatever falls in the ocean of nectar becomes immortal and nectarian. And similarly, the spots that are made on Shiradika's forehead, which is an ocean nectarian Mahabhava, become a great, a chanting herb for Krishna. So speciality of the spots, it's not because they are just the spots. Speciality of the spots because they are on the forehead of embodiment of Mahabhava. This is the speciality of this kind of ornaments. Usually, we are putting ornaments to become beautiful, to become sweeter and nicer. But Radhika gives sweetness and beauty to the ornaments. She is giving her intense Mahabhav this to through these spots, and because of that, Krishna is so attractive and becoming mad. And what is happening? He is coming in contact with Sringar. He is becoming Radhika's Sringar ornament also. <laughs> Whatever comes in contact with Mahabhava becomes Mahabhava. So when we put uh, earrings, uh, rings or, I don't know, red sindura, this red sindura becomes automatically Mahabhava. But when we are, when Krishna is contact with Mahabhava, she, he is becoming Radhika's most beautiful ornament. He is infused and modeled according to desire of Mahabhava. Don't disturb, okay. Yes, please. I, I cannot see and hear. You, someone wants to say? No? Okay, okay. Sorry for interruption. <laughs> so this is the beauty of Shringar. We know for Shringar it's like ornamenting. Radhika, Mohan, Yugala, Kishore. We know also when they are together, they are exchange these beautiful, loving, amorous pastimes, which are we calling Shringar Ras. Because the loving pastimes 
between Radha and Mohan are the best ornament in all three worlds. When they are embracing each other, they are ornament of this existence, material and spiritual existence. And who is doing this, Eva? Radharani's nature. Because she is Seva Rupaya. Serving Shringar with Shringar Ras and making that both of them are diving in this ocean of Shringar. Guru, they will say, this is the subject for deeper meditation. Anything going on in the room? Okay. Whatever falls in the, an ocean of nectar becomes immortal and nectarian. And similarly, the spots that are made on Shiradika's forehead, which is an ocean of Nectarian Mahabhava become a great a chanting herb for Krishna. Tulasi is the teacher of love for the Yugala Kishore. Wow. Tulasi is the teacher of love for the Yugala Kishore. <laughs> Jainandaji, it's, it's interesting. How the roles are changing. Una Tojwal. And someone who is in the mood of Una Tojwal, he is the teacher of love for you, Galaki Shore. Mm. Yes, but now I lost myself. Ah, Tulas is the teacher of love for you, Galaki Shore. And she thinks these spots will make sure that Krishna will not be attracted to any other girl. All these obstacles will be crossed over and you will be able to meet him freely. You see how Manjari is supporting Radhika? How she is taking a care about Radhika? Because you are mine. I'm sorry. You already surrendered to my seva. <laughs> Radha Anukulena. Not only Krishna Anukulena. Radha Anukulena. Whatever beneficial for you, Manjari will do. Although Radhika's chief rival, Chandravali, also has Mahabhava for Krishna, Tulasi is always proudly aware of fact that her mistress Radha can attract him more with her strong feeling of minus. So, what should we do? Maybe we can stop here to not be so much overloaded. <laughs> I don't know what is your suggestion. One and a half hours sounds quite a lot, especially to listen so much me, you know. 
Yes. Yes. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Someone agrees? Contemplate. What Guru Dev is saying? Yes, please. We should know when to stop, Guru Dev, isn't it? Or someone, yeah. You speak very, very clearly and nicely. Right? You make so much crazy to us. Why you become so crazy? <laughs> you infuse so this madness. <laughs> I'm so happy with you. My big hug and love to you. She is the teacher of love. Mandiris teach the love to the Jutala. Wow. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I am very proud of you. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is Baba's words. And you gave Baba. us just to contemplate yes. on these beautiful words. Yes, Mataji, please say. Thank you. You speak very clearly. Really, you spoke to me. Anyway. Okay. Ready, ready. Guru Deva is saying, Why you make us so mad? Goranga Sundara make us so mad. And uh, Actually, Chaitanya Charitamrita say, Radikas Prema Guru Amishishanat. Then you say, <laughs> So that's it. Manjari is Guru of Yugara. You know, this is, this is glorification of Manjari Baba, Punna Tovjaru Rasa. This is, you know, you are, you are really disclosed. This is the gift of Chaitanya. Yes, this is the gift of Chaitanya. And still we are in with the philosophy 5,000 years back. <laughs> still many devotees was attaching Gopi Baba, a philosophy of 5,000 years ago. But you are disclosing 500 years ago Mahap Mahaprabhu's precious gift for us. And uh, this Mahaprabhu Masi, any condition soul become, could become, this get, become Manjari Baba, get, could get this Manjari Baba. So this is uh, Ananda Rasabhaj Maharaj and Ajari is saying, so you make us mad. So I am really appreciated. Thank you very much. I was thinking about what you said very deeply. Mahaprabhu gave every jiva in Kali Yuga chance, opportunity, without any condition to become Radharani's maidservant. That's true, like you said. But for those who want that, And that ordinary desires to become Radharani's maidservant, it must be burning, passionate, yearning for that. So I'm coming back on Mataji's qualification or no qualification commentary where she gave. Only qualification is our desire. Opportunity is here. But it's up to us. Do I want or I have other plans? Are you agree, Jen Energy? Of course, uh, we agree. So Narayan said we need, we have agreed. But we are discussing Many God, may, you know, there is many God and Vaishnava. They saying, I am follower of Rupa, Rupa Nuga devotees. But uh, really amazing to really practicing this, this Babu Urasarasa is not so many. 
actually very rare. So this is, uh, I think, a special mercy and of you know our Guru Dev and our Guru Parampara. That's I I may say. Yes, we are so fortunate to have our Gurudev because he opened our eyes to really understand what is really written and already written in the books. But he opened our eyes with his Manjari Bhav. Without his Manjari Bhav and his merciful revealings, we would not understand anything, even in front of our eyes. And that is why we should be convinced and faithful. Rasik devotee has to remove covering and Rasik devotee has to infuse the heart, then devotee, sadaka, aspirant, beginner, can start to dive in the words of Rasik devotees. Otherwise, it's not possible. We can read, we can know by the heart and mind from first page to the last page, all verses, all commentaries, left and right, left and right, up and down, but nothing will change the heart. The drop of mercy of Rasik devotee can remove the covering. And we are very fortunate to have our beloved Gurudev here. I will stop. Radhe Radhe. Gurudev, thank you very much that we had the opportunity to hear you just a little. But also your silence is also very loud. I can feel it. Yeah. I don't know what you are telling, but I'm so happy to listen to that. Good. I also don't know what I'm telling. <laughs> yeah. If you... Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm foolish. I have seven duty because I talk with my lovely and Hari Mohan yesterday. Oh, yeah. All details I know. Okay. So that will be good. I Hari hope Mohan. you do. Well, very yes. nice. I hope. By your mercy, Gurudev. Nitai's mercy. 24 hours. I need your service 24 hours. More yeah. deep we have to do. Yeah. You are free, Radharani, make you free a bit. Wow. Okay. You have to give more time, more classes. Jai. Jai Ho. Jai Ho. Jai Ho. Jai Ho. My words are pretty empty. You know that. When heart is yeah. empty, words are also empty, you know. Sorry. You have to infuse, and I need the Kripa of Jayanandaji and all other devotees to be infused. Otherwise, what is the use of empty words? See, well, to bring this book. Ah. <laughs> what is this? Nectar of devotion. So today, surely bring one book, Next of Instruction, Upadesha Murita. And this, this book describes about Manjari. Last verse describes Manjari. Such a beautiful no? commentary of Prabhupada. So, Prabhupada, this page is Yananda Mahari, 104. Okay, one zero four. Last words, okay. I remember. I never forget this. Please read. Maybe you need to do no, give the um, uh, no, you can you can English. You, you, you want to read Jagata? Yeah. Yeah.
she has to understand more deeply. She is not fixed. I can help you. She don't believe Prabhupada's words. This happens is to follow the word. That is this happens. Living entities who are eager to return home to the transcendental kingdom of God, Golok Vrindavan, by means of attaining their spiritual bodies, they Siddha Deha, should live at Radhakund, take shelter of the confidential serving maids of Sri Radha, and under their direction, serving maid, maid servant of Radha. Read again this word. Living entities <coughs> who are eager to return home to the transcendental kingdom of God, Golok Vrindavan, by means of attaining their spiritual bodies, Siddha Deha, should live at Radhakund, take shelter of the confidential serving maids yes. of Sri Radha. Yeah, this is Monday. And under their direction, engage constantly in her service. Yeah. This is the most exalted method for those engaged in devotional service under the protection of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yeah. Wow. 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 Read more. In this connection, Chua Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur writes that even great sages and great devotees like Narada and Sanaka do not get an opportunity to come to Radha Kund to take their baths. What then to speak of ordinary devotees? If by great fortune one gets an opportunity to come to Radhakund and bathe even once, he can develop his transcendental love for Krishna exactly as the gopis did. <coughs> it is also recommended that one should live on the banks of Radhakund and should be absorbed in the loving service of the Lord. One should bathe there regularly and give up all material conceptions, <coughs> taking shelter of Sri Radha and her assistant gopis. If one is thus constantly engaged during his lifetime, after giving up the body, he will return back to Godhead to serve Sri Radha in the same way as he contemplated during his life on the banks of Radha Kund. The Radha, not Krishna, you see that. Read again this time. If one is constantly engaged during his lifetime, after giving up the body, he will return back to Godhead to serve Radha in the same way as he contemplated during his life on the banks of Radha Kund. Jai. What clear thing. The conclusion is that to live on the banks of Radha Kund and to bathe there daily constitute the highest perfection of devotional service. 
It is a difficult position to attain, even for great sages and devotees like Narada. Thus, there is no limit to the glory of Sri Radha Kund. By serving Radha Kund, one can get an opportunity to become an assistant of Srimati Radharani under the eternal guidance of the gopis. Jai. Wow. Yes. And <clears throat> I want to read the comment. Is it okay? Or what well, maybe they maybe two two uh, my my okay, constant question is if one doesn't have the desire for this, how is it possible? One knows that this is the only this goal. Is the only goal in the it's, it's the only the goal, but only. if one has no desire then never will happen next life, maybe. Desire has to be there. Is the association condition. So no desire is coming, the wrong association to be. Association makes desire. Narayana Maharaj is right, wrong association. Ego is there. Wrong association is there. So desire not come. Radhe Gurudev. Radhe, we are in the nice association to develop our desire here. Radhe. Radhe, Radhe. Who is the Diamond Mind? Diamond Mind. I need it. Awesome. Only send about the other one. Yeah. I want to read a little comment. Yeah. So this book, Pabupada was was uh, in the preface. He he writing September 20, 1975. <coughs> My understanding that this book was produced after making Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. Hmm. That means, of course, you know, he was writing Bhagatam, but he could not uh, make it, you know, could not complete it. He stopped it, 10th canto, I think 14th chapter. 10th yeah. canto, 14th chapter, 14th chapter. So this book means one of the last book of Prabhupada, except Srimad Bhagatam. Yeah, oh, so it means, you know, Prabhupada is one of the conclusion book. Jai Ho. Jai Ho, Prabhupada. Jai. So, especially last verse is the conclusion of this book. And this book made by Prabhupada one of the last book. So, this means last message of Prabhupada we may understand. So, this is very clear. Prabhupada want to want to us to become Radha Dasi. Jai. 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 This is the quintessence of all Prabhupada's teaching, which is mentioned in this book. If Jai. someone does, doesn't understand this book, he will not understand his first book. What? <laughs> Proper understanding of this book means quintessence of all Gaudiya Vaishnava Siddhanta conclusions, like Maharaj said. And he is mentioning, as I remember, I don't have here, he is mentioning to prove his conclusion, he is mentioning Bhaktivinoda Thakur and Bhakti Siddhanta Saras and Bas. 
And he said, in one moment, devotees told him, what do you want to do? Yeah. Please, want please go on. One devotee asked him, what do you want to do, Prabhupada, with these books, with this book? Because it's so confidential. And Prabhupada said, I want to print in 100,000 pieces and distribute yeah. to everyone. And then devotee, he said, Prabhupada, but it's not okay. This is very confidential, secret book. It's not that everyone knows. You have to go in Sankirtan with this book. Yes. <laughs> so, this is the proof. Who was the Prabhupada? Wow. Like Radha Kunda is not mentioned for the temples, like he said, for the preaching. Radha Kunda is for meditation and relishing. Wow. Wow, wow beautiful. <laughs> Jai Prabhupada. Jai this Jai is Jai Jai our Prabhupada. <laughs> this is Prabhupada. Radhe Radhe. I have to leave. I'm sorry. <laughs>